Hello pre-calculus students and welcome to the video on simplifying trigonometric expressions and um, in this video we're going to do this one problem here and the thing to remember is that every single problem with trigonometric identities is a little bit different and you want to pay attention more to the strategies that we're using here as well as the, the steps for this particular problem. Okay, so you can see here, this is somewhat of a complicated um, problem. You have a fraction, you have a trig identity, I mean, uh, sorry, a trigonometric ratio, but it's in the denominator. So um, if this was set equal to something and you were asked to solve, uh, it can be a little bit of a daunting task to, to solve that problem. But um, let's, try it on our, let's try it together here and see what we can do. So one of the things that I'm going to do here is get same denominator. Okay, so get uh, common denominator. And in this case, there's really nothing common between 1 minus x and 1 plus, sorry, 1 minus sine of x and 1 plus sine of x. So I'm just going to multiply the two of them. So to get this done, I'm just going to multiply uh, the denominators. So I'm going to multiply the right side here by 1 plus sine of x, whoops, not 1 plus, 1 minus sine of x over 1 minus sine of x. On this side here, I'm going to multiply it by 1 plus sine of x over 1 plus sine of x. Okay, so my writing is a little bit squashed in here, but I hope, hopefully you can still see what I'm writing. Um, and then I'm going to simplify this problem. Well, on the top here, on the left side, I'm going to have 1 plus sine of x over 1 plus sine of x. That's this part, times 1 minus sine of x. The right term, I'm going to have 1 minus sine of x on the top. And on the bottom, I'm multiplying this denominator and this denominator. So I'm going to have 1 plus sine of x times 1 minus sine of x. And you can see here, since they are the denominators now are the same, what I can do is combine the two fractions. So I can combine the two fractions. And now what I have is... 1 plus sine of x plus 1 minus sine of x, all of it over 1 plus sine x times 1 minus sine x. Okay, so they're the same denominator, so I keep that denominator down here, and I add the two numerators. So this is just basic rules for adding fractions. And then some things will cancel out. Conveniently for us, so you can see here that you have a plus sine x and a minus sine x, so that will cancel. Also in the top, that what's remaining there is just uh, this, let me use a different color here. Uh, what remains on the top here is just, uh, you got a one and another one, so that's just gonna give you two. Gosh, this marker is running low. Let me use a different marker here. So. Um, yeah, that's just going to be 2 on the numerator there. Okay. Now let's deal with the denominator. And what we're going to do here is just uh, distribute or FOIL uh, the denominator. Okay, so uh, first terms, 1 times 1 gives me 1. One, the outer terms, 1 times negative sine gives me negative sine x. The inner terms, sine times 1 gives me positive sine x. And then finally, sine times negative sine gives me negative sine squared x. And you can see here as well, some of these terms will, get, will cancel. You have a a minus sign and a plus sign, so those will go away. And so now what we end up here is 1 minus sine squared x. 
And it seems like this may be a little bit simpler, but it's not as simple as we want it to be. Um, you still have a trigonom trigonometric ratio here in the denominator, which tends to complicate things. So um, let's go back to the review and let's see um, this original Pythagorean identity here, if you remember, cosine squared plus sine squared equals one. So one of the things that I could do to this is subtract Uh, sine squared theta from both sides. Okay, so if I subtract sine squared theta, I get cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. And if you look at this term here and this term here, they are exactly the same. I'm using, I'm using a different variable, x and theta, but the identity still works. And in this case, 1 minus sine theta equals cos, I'm sorry, one minus sine squared theta equals cosine squared theta. So I can take this and substitute it in here. So now what you have is two over cosine squared, uh, whoops, almost wrote theta there, two cosine squared x, uh, which is equal to two secant squared x. Okay. And this is about as simple as it's going to get. And you can see if you compare this prop, this expression right here, two secant squared x, that's significantly simpler than what we what we started with. And so this is the idea: is that we, we can simplify these expressions, and then later on when we have to solve a problem, or in calculus where you have to take the derivative, it's probably easier to work with this expression than it is with this expression. And so there you have it. If you just think through the strategies, I just want us to reflect on this and see what the strategies are. Well, you have a fraction, so we're gonna get the same denominator, combine some of them together. Now this may not work every single time, but it's, it certainly can work, and you should certainly think ahead and see if this can be done. See how the, the numerator has some terms that cancel, and you can cross that out. The denominator actually leads you to a trigonometric um, identity. It doesn't seem like it, but it is in fact a trigonometric identity. It's the first Pythagorean identity. And then uh, we just simplify from there um, and you get the a much simpler version of what you originally started with. Okay. So thank you for watching. Again, trigonometric proofs, trig identities are very difficult to do for everybody. Um, the more you do them, the better the more experience you get with them and the better you will be prepared for the next time that you see them. Uh, on your notes, once again, I've, I've given you a couple of uh, uh, try on your own problems that, that you should in fact try on your own so you get some more experience in working with this. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.